Hi, my name is Jeremiah. I have been a full stack developer for more than one year now. I graduated as a computer engineer at Don Honorio Ventura State University in August 2022 last year. And today, I will share with you my computer engineering degree. But the only thing is, hindi ko alam kung ako yung tamang tao para gawin tong video na to kasi I was an average student or below pa nga eh. Ako yung tipo ng student na laging late, laging absent, hindi nang pa-participate at walang plano sa buhay. My grades were not impressive, not at all. Ito yung pinakamataas kong grade. Take note, during online class pa yan. And ito yung lowest grade ko na hindi ko pa deserve. My relationship with other people was not that great. Pero I think okay lang din naman kasi meron akong naging turning point para magbago. And I think that was the best part of my college life. And sana maging inspirasyon sa iba. Kung isa ka din pa ba yung student, malay mo ito yung maging turning point mo. And for the intro, let's get started. I realized that the best way to tell this story is by going to our group chat and look back at some of the memories. This is our very first schedule, ito yung naging unang map ko para mahanap yung mga rooms, profs, and classmates. My biggest advantage is galing ako sa text trend na ICT so I have a bit of knowledge and background for getting sa coding. Some of the subjects ng first sem are ROTC, Calculus, Chemistry, Programming Logic and Design, ito yung mga fundamentals ng programming. Some of the topics involved are number systems like binary, decimal, hexadecimal, and yung pag-convert sa kanila. Variables, loops, introduction to programming, and madami pa. Ito yung nakaka-boring na part pero sobrang exciting din at the same time kasi this is the adjustment period. No friends, new schedule, new profs, and new location. Then on second sem, ito na yung nag-start na maging strong yung bonds between classmates. Some of the subjects in second sem are ROTC2, Calculus2, Physics, and Object-Oriented Programming. Now, uh, if I remember correctly, I did well. Naalala ko, meron kami final project na GUI using Java and alam ko yung sa amin, ATM siya with three main features, Deposit, Withdraw, and View Balance. Narealize ko kung gaano kahalaga ng fundamentals, lalo na yung mga subject na to. My mistake was hindi ako masyadong nag-pay attention kaya pagdating sa sem na to, unti-unti na akong nahihirapan. What I learned? Every beginnings are important. It shapes our future. Kaya yung mga fundamentals sobrang mahalaga talaga. So pay attention to this kasi magagamit sila in the future. Sa year na to, unti-unti kong nare-realize kung gaano ako ka- When I was in senior high school, I can say na medyo nag excel naman ako. Not bragging, pero naging top 6 ako nun. My grades were okay and actually medyo mataas sila. Pero sa college, parang nabaliktad ang lahat. Naging top 6 ako, pero sa lowest. Some of the subjects ng first sem are differential equation, na wala akong maintindihan, engineering economics, na munti ko nang ikabagsak, fundamentals of electrical circuit. Again, another fundamentals, another note ko para sa inyo guys. Sobrang malaking tulong tong subject na to para sa thesis nyo. Kasi dito nyo malalaman yung mga basics ng electrical circuit like voltage, resistance, power, mga ganun. DSA, Data Structure and Algorithm where we learned about how data is being stored and the steps or pattern to solve a problem. Some common algorithms are stack and queues, sorting algorithms, array, linked lists, and madami pa. At this point, sobrang wala na talaga akong gana to the point na mag absent ako ng walang reason. One trivia about my university is it is located sa medyo mababang part ng Pampanga. Kaya dati kapag sobrang lakas ng ulan, laging bumabaha and the only thing na hinihintay ko na lang noon is Walang pasok sa lahat ng antasop Second sem subjects are software design. Ito yata yung subject na wala kaming prof. Kaya ang nangyari, nagkaroon na lang ng seminars nung patapos na yung sem. And if I'm not mistaken, API yung pinag-aralan namin. Fundamentals of electronic circuits. Again, another fundamentals. Kapartner nito yung electrical circuit. Then, web programming. Ito yung subject na nagbabago ng buhay ko. What I learned? Nothing. Seryoso. <laughs> it's not because of my prof, it's because of me. Ano nga namang matututunan ko kung lagi akong late ng one hour, lagi akong absent, ba? 2020. Disaster. On February 2020, tumigil ang lahat. The malls, roads, schools, the entire world. Maraming naapektuhan dito, including me, but... 
in a positive way. First time subjects are logic circuit and design, operating systems, fundamentals of mixed signals and sensors. At this point, medyo naging seryoso na ako sa pag-aaral. Ito yung first time ko maranasan ng online class. This is the time din na gumawa na ako ng first ever tutorial video ko. This is my first video. And I started to think about my future. Kaya I created some projects and put them in my portfolio. This time din, naghanap ako ng pwedeng gawing side hustle to somehow help my parents dahil nga it is pandemic. Second time subjects, computer network and security, microprocessor, digital signal processing, elective 2. What I learned, there's no such thing as too late. Too late to improve, too late to learn, too late to code, too late to change. Magiging too late lang yan kapag lagi lang natin iniisip at hindi natin ginagawa. So if you want to change something about yourself, do it now. At this year, my mindset completely changed. I also realized kung gaano ka importante ng pagsurround ng sarili sa mga like-minded people. I continue to create projects, create contents, and I learned a lot. First time subjects, embedded systems, computer architecture and organization, and elective 3. For the second sem, thesis and OJT. Second sem taught me a lot. We face a lot of challenges and for me, the most challenging part is yung paghanap ng internship tsaka yung paggawa ng tri-converter machine. I made a video recap sa year 2022 ko. You can watch it para magkaroon kayo ng mas malaking idea kung ano ang nangyari. The challenging part of OJT namin is hindi yung trabaho mismo kundi yung paghanap ng company. Dagdag pa sa pagpapahirap is because fresh pa dito yung pandemic so madaming company ang nagbawas ng employees, hindi nagpa onsite and for us, bawal na bawal ang onsite job. Nag-apply ako sa lahat ng nakita kong companies, but in the end, laging failed. Another challenge for me that time is the machine. The fact na we're new to the technology na ginamit namin ay nakaka-stress na plus pa yung pagsabay ng internship. But somehow, naisip ko din na it is all my fault. Kasi kung nag-pay attention lang ako nung una pa lang, baka di ako ganong nahirapan. What I learned? Rejections and failures are just feedbacks. Realize ko, if hindi kami na-reject ng unang beses pa lang sa title defense, baka madaming redefense ang mangyayari. I learned to put the maximum effort, then just trust the outcomes. If it's always a failure, then always try again. September 2022, Victory College is not only about the thought na requirement siya para magkaroon ng trabaho. College is also a once-in-a-lifetime memory na you will reminisce in the future and mapapasmile ka na lang. Mabilis lang ang 4 years guys. With a blink of an eye, pwede mag-transform ang lahat. From this to this, and from this to this. Kung meron siguro akong pinagsisiyan sa college, yun ay yung hindi ko pag-pay attention sa mga subjects. Hindi ko pakikipag-participate sa mga ibang activities. Hindi ko pakikipag-socialize na mabuti. Walang pangarap at hindi ko paglabas sa comfort zone. And if I can bring back the time, I am willing to fix this but since hindi na, I learned from these mistakes and I just share with you this story to inspire you. Maybe my story is not that great pero habang may time pa kayo, try to fix things up. Try to get out of your comfort zone and appreciate life habang student ka pa. Those discounts, cheatings, going to school late, going home late, pagpasok pa kahit sobrang lakas ng ulan, suspension ng class, mamimiss mo yun, promise. So make friends, explore your university, learn other skills, participate in different activities, and have fun.